Two people have been killed and property destroyed after fresh violence erupted in Bali local government area of Taraba State, northeast Nigeria. This was two years ago. Since then, the number of skirmishes between herdsmen and farmers in Taraba State have increased, with little done to abate it. Accurate casualty figures from both sides have always been an issue. But when statements credited to the MF Kano that 800 Fulanese were killed in one weekend in the Mambila Plateau in the state, eyebrows were raised as to the possibility of this, with the Taraba State Government and the Christian Association of Nigeria refusing the claim. To get a clear understanding of the issues, Channel Television visited the region. For miles, all that can be seen is open land, which will suggest that it should not be a problem with sharing space. The calm atmosphere that surrounds the town can be seen in how freely the residents move around. So how does a place that resonates so much peace be troubled by crises? Signs of the violence still lives with the people. The Fulanese recount their experience, losses, and make their expectations known. They have took our cows more than 75 in this our compound. They matched some and they took some away. We are living in this place in, uh, in uh, just food and mouth because we don't have anything to eat. All their houses, villages have been burnt down. This, these structures need to be rebuilt for them. There is no arguing that violence occurred, but the bone of contention from the Mambila side still lies in the number of fatalities. The number of people that lost their lives in Sadona local government did not go up to 60, because that was the number that was given by the United Nations, International Red Cross, and, and of course I can still say it was the number that was signed by the Secretary of the Amiyeti um, Allah uh, uh, cattle breeders in Taraba State. Those people who are talking about 800 people being killed in one single crisis in that place don't even know the population of Fulanese in that place. They are not familiar with uh, uh, the Mambela. We cannot conclusively... The Commissioner of Police also has his reservations about the figure. He, however, reassures that peace is slowly returning to the area. I don't think that, that is possible. The, the question is, what is the population of Mambila Plateau itself? That 1,000 people be killed, 800 people be killed, and there will be no... In fact, I expect that by now we should be talking of epidemic. If that large number of people were killed, we have done a lot of advocacy. We have, done, we have met several with stakeholders on the Mambula Plateau, the traditional rulers, the adults, opinion leaders, political leaders, uh, with a view to ensuring that peace is maintained. As everyone makes submissions, questions still hang. How possible is it to wipe out 800 people without anyone seeing the bodies? If it did happen, where were the corpses buried? The reasons for reprisals are usually based on finger pointing of a prior attack, which escalates into more violence that leads to more deaths. So, at the end of it all, the biggest question in the whole scheme of things is who is fooling who? Oralu Ashonibare, Channel Television News.